PVC is maybe the third most commonly used polymer, but it is not commonly 3D printed. We see it in all kinds of places, in piping, in sewage systems, in uh, pharmaceutical and food processing applications, but it is very unusual to see this material being 3D printed until now. I'm Stephanie Hendrickson with Additive Manufacturing Media here at Rapid TCT in Detroit, standing in front of the Juggerbot booth. Juggerbot offers large format additive manufacturing systems for both thermosets and thermopolymers, and they have just released the ability to 3D print with PVC. They had to make some updates to the hardware of their printer in order to be able to do this. Behind me is the Tradesman Series P344. This machine is also now available in an Astra format. Uh, the Astra model has those extra things needed for the processing of materials like PVC. There's a four-step approach that they had to take in order to be able to print with this material. The first is containment. The machine is fully sealed. There are silicone seals and gaskets um, and bellows everywhere to prevent the uh, off-gassing from the material from escaping from the machine. Second is fume extraction. So there are two types of extractors inside of the printer. There is general fume extraction as well as targeted fume extraction aimed at the nozzle. So the moment the material is extruded, the gas is being captured and removed from the environment. Third is prevention. There are some changes to the interior of the machine. The entire chamber is basically stainless steel to prevent corrosion from any off-gassing of the PVC material. And then finally is protection. There are guardrails in place to ensure the safe handling of this material. For instance, it's not possible to open the machine door immediately after a print completes. You have to wait for the fume extraction to finish working um, in order to even open the machine and get the parts out. So there are a lot of protections in place to ensure both the safe and consistent processing of this material. But why would you want to use PVC? PVC offers a good balance between corrosion resistance, chemical resistance, as well as cost. Uh, it can be used in applications where today we might see things like 3D printed Peak, which also offers similar resistance but is much more expensive. PVC is a more affordable alternative. Applications for this material so far are in things like uh, waste management, um, some pharmaceutical and food processing applications, and things like this. This part is a vortex flow insert, and this is part of a uh, sewage processing um, application. Its purpose is to break up turbulence in noxious gases. And a PVC component like this previously would have been made through assembly. It would have been a lot of different PVC parts cut and molded and formed together by hand. Now they can 3D print it in just one piece. So this is a assembly consolidation application. It is also a lead time consolidation. It used to take two to three weeks to produce one of these components. Now one can be 3D printed with this technology in just about 48 hours. 